Jerry explores history today. So the U.S. Constitution has an amendment process. What is an amendment? It's when you wanted to add something, either add something completely new or change something within the Constitution. So how does the amendment process work? You have the Congress, both the Senate and the House of Representatives. If two-thirds of the Congress decide that we need an amendment, they will propose an amendment, they'll draft an amendment. That's the first way. The second way is if two-thirds of state legislatures decide that we need an amendment, then they can also call a convention to propose and draft an amendment. So that's the first part, how to get into the process of drafting an amendment. Now, once you have the amendment, you have to vote on it. Government is in agreement that we're going to add to our constitution. So to pass an amendment that you have proposed and written and drafted, you need three-fourths of the state legislatures. Remember, two-thirds, three-fourths. Why the difference? Because three-fourths is more. To pass this thing, you better be sure that the majority of America wants this. That's why three-fourths are needed. So why am I saying all this? Because the 13th Amendment, the amendment that banned slavery after the Civil War. At the time it was proposed, in 1865, there were 31 states, official states, in America. What many don't know was that only 27 states ratified it. Most people don't realize this. So which states rejected the 13th Amendment banning slavery? Mississippi, Kentucky, Delaware, and New Jersey, Jersey Shore, hey, Guido, I'm just kidding. Anyways, so Mississippi, Kentucky, Delaware, and New Jersey rejected the 13th Amendment. So New Jersey ratified the 13th Amendment in 1866. Kentucky ratified the 13th Amendment in 1976. And Delaware ratified the 13th Amendment in 1901. This brings us to Mississippi. Mississippi didn't ratify officially the 13th Amendment until 1995. 1995, they officially decided to ratify it. And even then, there was either an intentional or unintentional error. You see, how do you let the U.S. government know that you as a state have ratified an amendment? So what you need to do is you need to tell the National Archives and Records Administration. The NARA is part of the Office of the Federal Register, OFR. The OFR officially verifies that the amendment has received the proper number of votes for ratification, three-fourths. So even though Mississippi officially, finally ratified the 13th Amendment in 1995, they didn't forward the ratification to the OFR, to NARA. So there was no documentation by the federal government that Mississippi ratified the 13th Amendment. That was until 2013, when finally someone realized or noticed or somehow found out that Mississippi hadn't notified the Federal Register that they ratified the 13th Amendment. So that is how, in 2013, Mississippi finally, officially ratified the 13th Amendment. Pretty funny little tidbit in our nation's history because in history class we're always taught after the Civil War, immediately we passed the 13th Amendment. Most of us do not know that a few states didn't ratify it, and one state didn't officially ratify it until more than 100 years later, almost 150 years later. Okay, this was Jerry Explores History. If you want more explorations of history, please let us know. Thank you so much. Talk to you guys soon.